At Ped Safety, we focus on the people. We believe everybody deserves to arrive home safely. Cyclists, pedestrians, you know, everybody who shares our streets. I think that, you know, here in Portland, it's my hometown, so obviously I'm a little biased, but being able to work with them on their endeavors of making equity more of an approach by these public agencies, working with underserved communities, the utmost importance to be able to serve as many people as possible. You know, kind of being the higher level ITS provider, we just want to enable everyone else's solution. So we try and keep things really open. We want to be able to give the engineer in the field the ability to do what they want. Most transportation design is context sensitive, and we want to be able to give them any solution they want to meet the needs of the context. The dream of a traffic engineer for years has been how could we really combine some of the predictive, some of the forecasting tools into traffic management tools. I always refer to it as the holy grail of traffic engineering, to be able to do the predictive into the traffic management and the user community is really embracing it. So a digital twin is really a tool for a city or an agency to be able to test what is not yet out there in the field. So this gives them a very flexible tool, introduce different types of behaviors, any new developments that they want to have, and really answer the questions that not just they as an agency may have, but also the community. And a digital twin is a perfect tool for that. At McTrans, we are developing cost-effective and widely accessible traffic analysis tools, along with uh, its development, support, and training. We are probably the only university or institution that provides transportation equity certification program, and that's specifically for engineers. This poster program that I'm presenting here is relate with vulnerable road users. So we're using machine learning, AI, so that we can analysis the important factors that are contributing to the vulnerable road user and potential conflict points that may be leads as a crash in the future. This research was a collaborative effort of the UMass Transportation Center as well as Safer Sim Research Project that really collaborates vulnerable road users and safety. And also we're really excited because we were just awarded the University Transportation Center grant through USDOT and we're really excited to be a regional UTC and do even more work on the pedestrian hybrid beacon in the next few years.